Definitely have a shark up here, a small one. Just off the coast of Pascagoula, Mississippi. It's a sharp-nosed shark. For now, the waters are teeming with 10 species of sharks. It looks like a healthy shark to me. Uh, do, do you see any signs of oil? No, not at this point. We haven't, we haven't had any indication that there's oil in this area. The kilograms is 2.2. Marine biologists are rushing to establish a baseline sample of the shark population, documenting their size and overall health before the oil hits. They're especially worried because these waters are a fragile nursery for young sharks. Right now, this is a critical time for these sharks, isn't it? Oh, it is. I mean, we don't know what the implications are going to be with this exposure to this oil, but it, in, in theory, it could, it could have a tremendous impact on the pups that are born this year and, uh, and, and the populations that we have here in the north central Gulf of Mexico. And even if the oil doesn't get to the sharks, the sharks may get to the oil. These things could probably swim between 10, maybe 15, 20 miles a day. So if this, if this shark is swimming up to 20 miles a day, that means it's capable of going up to where this lick is. Yes, definitely. So it could be in healthy waters one day and poison waters the next. There, there's no question. Katie, the sharks that live in these waters are very sensitive creatures. They are fish, so they're breathing water through their gills to get out the oxygen. If there's oil in that uh, water, these fish can actually suffocate to death. These are also predators, and if the prey that they're targeting, like fish, for example, has been contaminated by the oil, these animals can actually be poisoned. And what about dolphins, Jeff? They're mammals, they breathe air. Are they as vulnerable as sharks or even more so? That's a very good observation. Yes, they are mammals, and like us, they're breathing in air into their lungs to survive. But what you need to keep in mind is we have nostrils, they have a blowhole. And if they come up to the surface of that water and there's oil floating on top, they can breathe in that oil into their lungs and they can suffocate as well. Like the sharks, they're targeting fish that could be contaminated. The big thing, what we really need to keep in mind, is that all species here, whether the creatures living along this coastline like those birds or the animals in the water, are vulnerable to this very toxic oil spill. Jeff Corwin. Jeff, nice to have you on the Evening News. Thanks very much. Thanks, Katie.